Okay, so here in this slide, we are going to speak a bit more technological architecture of uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundry and the underlying platform, which is maintained by BOSS. So we'll start with BOSS. Uh, then uh, we'll go to the application uh, container orchestrations and uh, the uh, Pivotal uh, container uh, services and the Pivotal um, marketplace as well. So uh, starting with uh, the underlying infrastructure uh, for the all the services provided by uh, Pivotal, uh, how we do maintain our infrastructure and the services using BOSS, which uh, uh, not only just takes care of the high availability, scalability, and uh, security aspect of the com complete environment, but uh, also, it is uh, responsible for uh, connecting to, through which it can uh, connect to various other clouds like vSphere, OpenStack, AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure uh, Stack with the help of the CPI that is at the cloud uh, provider interface. And uh, here uh, we do see that uh, the Pivotal Network, it started from uh, the Pivotal Network and it is uh, responsible for updating the CVEs, which is uh, the, def, uh, the, the 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 updated CVEs every day uh, about which takes care of the uh, security aspect of all the build packs or the releases for its uh, uh, operating systems and uh, the software. So here, uh, Boss combined with uh, some of the embedded OS which I just spoke about the we call the releases and also the VMware NS, NSXT which is the STN uh, software defined networking component. So BOSS combined with, uh, combined with the operate, operating systems which is uh, from uh, the updated one and the uh, SDN takes care of the and uh, three R's. Uh, that is the it is responsible for repairing um, any any uh, problem or any box or it is repair the service and it is also rotate any uh, credentials uh, that is uh, responsible for allowing uh, all the uh, users to be uh, connected so the, in that way it takes care of the boss is the center of the automation and orchestration of the entire uh, Cloud Foundry environment, which is uh, uh, the center of uh, Cloud Foundry. So uh, coming uh, to the upper layer and where the customer or the client or the user who has got uh, their code uh, in the GitHub environment or some sort of uh, um, uh, code uh, repository uh, like uh, either GitHub or Bitbucket or so, so forth. So with the help of uh, a container, uh, with the help of a concourse or, or some other CI tool like Jenkins, so he achieved uh, the CI CD uh, environment and uh, the build packs application code and uh, the Spring Boot applications or any uh, .NET applications is uh, built uh, given um, it uh, built into the uh, environment and it is uh, taken by the CF push uh, to the uh, to make it running and after that if it is uh, if it is a kubernetes environment if it is a container service obviously uh, the from the github the we take using same concourse or maybe jenkins then the queue control um, uh, tool here it is shear push but if it is a container environment the queue control takes care of running the applications and taking care of the elastic city and uh, package software and the spark or some so on and so forth applications are running on kubernetes environment then uh, the service marketplace so uh, if somebody any 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 particular user or client is exposing their services through the marketplace uh, that also uh, can completely um, maintained by uh, the uh, pivotal environment and uh, it is 
the uh, the open service broker api which uh, enables any of the uh, services to be exposed any of the applications to be exposed as services whether it is uh, whether it's a container environment or it's a pivotal the pass application service or maybe a third party applications so they can be combined and uh, if it is a customer managed service also like you have your vm running a uh, service and you have a you want to expose that as a service and you being used that is also possible so that that's about all this uh, slide and um, going forward um, uh, let's talk a bit more about uh, uh, the pivotal application service the pass the runtime uh, which is uh, responsible for uh, running e any custom applications so the best it, it is considered as uh, the best application platform for the uh, best runtime for running the spring based spring boot based microservices applications and it is ready made for uh, the spring boot applications it is a turnkey microservice operations and security if you see the spring cloud environment is completely uh, uh, designed for running microservices, including all the uh, the service registry, config, and discovery, or uh, the uh, history, 